Okay, I want to talk about something today. I want to talk about room names and how you can get bogged down. Well, I don't know about you, but I got bogged down in assigning room names. And it can be a little stressful, to say the least. So these room names, let me just start off by saying after you set up your model, let's say your, your, your architect model, let's say you're a plumbing engineer, mechanical engineer, or you're working on the plumbing or mechanical um, model, and you've, you've brought in your architect's model into your, I'm going to use plumbing model, into your plumbing model and you want to assign room names. In this case, this particular floor plan. It might look familiar to some of y'all. And see, <laughs> that was a very familiar outline. Okay, so yeah, so once you, once you insert it, um, what, after you've done all of that, and, and maybe there's a step that you might have missed, which is very important. Um, I want to, let's see if I can click. I'm going to click on the, this is the architect's drawing, okay. And you see these X's. These are, what's, let me go over here. So this, and go to, once you click on the, the architect's model, go to edit type. And you want to make sure that this room bounding uh, box is checked. Let me try something. I'm going to uncheck this box. And say, okay, space is not properly enclosed. Place is not in a properly enclosed region. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do this. And what I'm going to do, let's see if I can duplicate something. Let's go to analyze. I think it's analyze. Yeah. Spaces and zones. So I want to, let's see, I want to create, I think I can create a space here. So I create, space is not currently visible in this view. <laughs> Do you want to make it visible? Yes. Space is not currently visible in this view. That's confusing to me. Spaces are not currently visible. Well, I can see a few spaces here. I can see that they are visible, so I don't know what Revit is talking about. Do you want to make them visible? Yes. Okay. So you see this? See how it's because it's not a, a bounding, meaning it's not going all the way out to the boundary of the room. So I guess a room and a space is different. I think, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, I think architects use rooms and the mechanical and plumbing, I don't know about the other disciplines, and I think the mechanical and plumbing uses spaces. I think I, I might have read that somewhere, but I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure, but it's, it's somewhere, it's, some, it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, those feelers are out there somewhere where architects refer our rooms and in the other disciplines like mechanical and plumbing, they're considered spaces. Back to our daily program. <laughs> uh, getting off in a little tangent, but that's okay. So you see, because this, the, the rooms are not bounded, right? Meaning all the way up to the boundary. Let me, let's try this again. Spaces. Yeah, you see this? And that's because the rooms are not going all the way out to the bound to the boundary of that space. Meaning that's a boundary. This entire space or room, this entire room should be bounded. Um so that's that's let's see if this is gonna work. So that's if the box 
in room bounding, once you click on this, this um, once you click on the architect's model and you edit the model, Wait a minute. I'm it should be pinned. Okay. Also, <laughs> your model should be pinned <laughs> when you bring it in. <laughs> Don't be like me and forget. Well, there's a lot of things you're going to forget. So, do you, boo? Do you? <laughs> so, let me see here. So, do you? Uh, but yeah, you 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 always want to pin your your model when you bring it in. Um, now, what was I doing? So I'm going over here. I want to go over to edit type and let's make these rooms bounded. I want to bound these bound. I want to look at this room um, with the boundaries uh, and not unbounded. Now they are supposedly bounded. So I'm clicking this boundary, and I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to say OK. OK, so let's get out of this. Escape, escape, escape. Let's make sure that we got it. Let's go back, back to back. OK, back to back, and let's go. Let's try this again. Let's see what Revit does. I'm going to, uh, there's no way to refresh, huh? Uh, so let's go here, space, okay. So you see how it's bounding? This room is bounding now. It's going all the way up to the borders. The boundary of the room. The boundary of the rooms. We want these to be all bounded, okay? Okay. So once you've done that, I'm going to escape out of this. So once you've done that, I don't, I don't know about why I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, so, so now what you want to do have now that you have that, you want to take Revit to its limits, right? You want to know what room name and number are these <laughs> rooms or spaces? <laughs> yeah, I have to look into that again. Um, you want to know the names of these spaces or you want to know the names of these rooms. <laughs> That's weird. Um, let me get this out of the way so I can put it over here. Okay, so now comes the fun part, right? So you know that, that Revit can um, automatically put names in these rooms. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember there was a utility that Revit had that would automatically put the spaces in there put the room name and numbers in there, but I can't remember what it was. Space name and utility. Okay, the space name and utility. Is that still on here? <laughs> now, I think I just gave away my secret. Are they, is anybody using space name and utility? I know that when you first start using Revit, it's a very convenient way of naming spaces. Um, so what's this space naming this must be it i think that's the space naming utility space naming assigns the name and numbers for architecture rooms yeah see architecture rooms and to mep spaces there it is there it is that's i'm sure i've seen it somewhere else but architects refers to a bounded space as a room. And the MEP, which is mechanical electrical plumbing, refers to those spaces as spaces used for building performance analysis. Okay, so there's a distinction between the two depending on what 
what discipline you're you're using. So, but I, I, they can be interchangeable, I guess. But when you get down to um, uh, um, calling out what these spaces are, I, I, I don't know if it could be critical. You know, I mean, if you're doing an analysis and you use the term, if you're using a mechanical analysis and you use the term room, are you wrong by using rooms? You know, how many CFM does this room need, right? You know, how much you know, exhaust air does the room need? I don't think that, uh, I think that this, this is going to roll off the top of, you, off, off of your tongue. I don't, I don't think, I don't think people say, well, how much CFM does this space need? That might sound better. I don't know. That's, let, let me get off of that. Let me get off of that. Back, back to back. <laughs> what I came on here to talk about. Uh, so we are going to assign a space to these assign. We are going to assign a name and number to these architectural rooms. Assigns a name and number for architectural rooms to MEP spaces used for building performance analysis. Okay, spaces and rooms. Remember that. Let me let me go over here. Let's see. I'm gonna click on this name and numbers only. Space name and utility. I think that's it. Let's say okay to this, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Spaces. Nope. Is this zone? What's this space? What's this one? Space tag. No space tag. Would you like a low one? Um, let me get out of this. Let's see what happens. So, uh, oh, okay. What was I doing? Oh, so what I want to do is create, I want to assign names and numbers to these spaces. We know that's a toilet, so... Um, sp space tag, label spaces in a project. Okay, I don't need that one space. Places analytical spaces to account. Okay, I, I think I just want the tag. Assigns names and there's two of these. Space naming and label spaces in a project. What's this one? Zone, the, okay, I don't want that one. Space naming. Names and numbers, okay. That's office's toilet. So if I click on if I click on that, that's, there's nothing happening. I knew that that wasn't gonna work. Let me undo that. Let's do this. What was that? That was spaces space naming. Okay, I did that. So that didn't work. All levels. So, <laughs> okay, rooms. Office A101, spaces, Office A101, uh, uh, that's crazy. So yeah, but I uh, don't, yeah, anyway, so rooms and spaces, whatever, whatever works. Let's cancel all this. So I did space naming, let's do this tag. Space tag labels spaces in a project. It doesn't label rooms, mind you. It's not gonna label, it doesn't label room, it labels spaces. Double click the name in the space tag to rename it. Okay, I'm gonna click this conference. Okay, here. Okay, well let's go back. So this is space tag. Conference, deep dish, okay. Yeah, see it's changing. All of this is changing. So what you do is just assign that's that, that, that. Easy peasy, right? And I think there's another tool. Let's let's go out of this that does that automatically. Let me see. Space tag. 
space naming. Is this it? Say okay. Let's try. There's one where it's automatic. Space. There it is. Let me go back. That's, I'm going to, can I undo all of this? Undo, undo, undo. Okay, so I go space naming. Say okay. That wasn't it. Or is it space? Okay, space. And place spaces automatically. No, it doesn't. No, I, I, I want the name and number, so that's not going to work. I'm going to click it anyway. <laughs> Zero space created automatically. Let's go back. Let's say okay to that. So where was I? I think I'm here. Space tag. Yeah, okay. So you see you go down here, here, here. Okay, and now everything is, everything is good. Everything's all the all the rooms have been given names, and the problem is okay. That's one problem. Um, let's do that again. Let's go to analyze. And what is this room? <laughs> that is a toilet. Okay. Now this toilet is going to have probably some air terminals going in here. Let me do this. Where is the systems? Duct. Let's use um, yeah, 30 by 30. I don't know. Let me change that to a, um, uh, where, am, where am I? Let's go a 10 inch. Uh, 10 inch round okay so you got a 10 inch round duct coming through here and there's a diffuser maybe it's coming in the wall that's the supply let's say that's the supply well you got it okay let's say it's coming in here let's go about right here and you got the, you have the supply where's my systems air terminal no air terminal, whatever. But anyway, they look like this. Uh, they look like this. Okay, so f two by two. And let's go here, here, here. I'm doing some AutoCAD. <laughs> okay, so you got, you got this guy. Let's move it. Let's put it about right here. And then you, you have an exhaust. Let's copy that. Control C, put it down here, and Control V. Okay, let's do this. And now you can, let's do this, modify this guy. Okay, here. So you have that exhaust. And that is, let's copy this. Okay, that's going to be kind of like this. And then you got waste and you got vent systems coming out and you got hot water and cold water coming out of here. And guess what's in the middle of this? You guessed it. Toilet 129. Okay. <laughs> Sitting right dab in the middle. Now, you can move it, right? You can move it. You can change the size of it. Well, okay, that's another video. You can change the size of it, I think. But you can move it up. But guess what happens when you move it? It loses all its value. Right? You, cannot, you can't move it out of the space and then draw an arrow to say that that's a toilet 129, right? So you can't do that. Let's cancel out of here. So what do you do? I think I'll do a video. That's, that's the next time. I think I'm... I'm running out of time here. I'm having too much fun. I think that I will continue this on another video. On another video. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, well, to be continued. I'll talk to you guys later.